Hey guys, I thought I'd come on um, and pretty much talk about the KBB um, pomegranate guava hair butter. Uh, I put this in yesterday. I washed my hair I um, and had it up with my leave-in conditioner, the EO leave-in conditioner, much later on because I had gone out. I applied this to my hair when my hair was damp. Um, Underneath it, I put the Karen's Body Beautiful Luscious Hair Milk. And I still don't remember if I've done a review and I haven't had a chance to check, but I don't think so. I think I did the deep conditioning mask and that was it. This is the Karen's Body Beautiful Hair Butter and it comes in an 8 ounce jar. Um, it has shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, jojoba butter, aloe butter, essential and or fragrance oils, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E. It smells very good and the smell lasts pretty much throughout the day of both of them. This is a luscious pair and they do make a great combination with the pomegranate guava hair butter because it gives you a overall fruity smell because I don't think that it you know if you're gonna choose these that you're gonna pair get something th both that are similar they don't have to be the same but along the same lines if you're gonna get something nutty like a shea butter or cocoa butter base it's better to complement it with something like that anyway my, this is my hair on day one I don't really like the shape of it because it kind of has a flat top and this has nothing to do with the product it's just the way I braided I twisted it up last night um, I must say my hair is extremely soft very soft I don't know if you can see it's very shiny and I'm really impressed with this um, the consistency of this I was kind of doubtful as to what it would do because it's more like a hardened pomade um, if you can see like it you it really takes a lot to inv indent this and then it just kind of pulls away from the product kind of spreads on there um, it does emulsify into a, an oil not a cream which was what had me doubtful so and it really dissolves pretty easily see this is the oily look of it you, you can see by the light hitting it so um really really um smells nice love it uh and it really gives your hair a very silky appearance my finer hair which is at the back was very much stressed and it was even more because back here you can see my hair is a little bit smoother and um, it's probably in the upper seas because this part of my hair and it does make it silkier like up here it's not because I have fours on top it, you're not going to really see silkiness per se but I really like this this is day one I'm going to try and come to you guys with an update throughout the week as far as the documentation hair has very good movement love that because it gives a light fluffy um light fluffy um end result it's not like a butter that kind of weighs your hair down which for me i do like also but this gives you moisturization plus it gives you a light feel to it so i like it i'll see if i can come back on subsequent days to do updates because Today was the first day of school, but I'm, I got out early, so that's why I'm able to come on, really, and show you this. So, um, close up, here is my hair. Here yeah, so guys, that's it. I don't want to spend too much on the introduction, but I'm sorry I didn't get to do, um, the application part it's pretty much the same as all my other applications as far as doing a twist the twists were like medium twists not too small not too big and I kind of put the ones to the front around here towards hanging this way that's why the shape of it actually I don't mind it now but I just don't like the top being so flat and I think also because I have the little bands at the front too that um, what gives it that Shaka Khan, look.
So, anyway, guys, take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, perhaps. Okay? Bye. Hey guys, Vinta24 here on day two of my twist out using the KBB uh, hair butter. Um, last night, to preserve the look, I misted my hair in the shower, took a shower, and without a shower cap, and then what I did was come out and retwisted my hair and also put some rod at the end. I didn't rod it the first time, but today I did. Okay, guys? So, yes, guys, I rotted my hair using the white rods, and um, and to each individual uh, twist, I applied a bit of, the, like a pea-sized amount of the Karen's Body Beautiful. My hair is extremely soft, light, fluffy, has a lot of body. I put a small goodie comb to the side because this side was looking a little bit lackluster. This is my thinner side of my head and it tends to have that look sometimes. And then there are some little damaged ends to it too. There is a, still a little bit of damage to my hair but um, and as you can see guys it's really around the periphery. These are the areas that I, I cut. Hold on. Like right here is about the same as here so um, I've been able to disguise it so yeah so this is day two guys of the KBB on my hair I'm really liking it so far it really imparts a lot of moisture and um, yeah I'll get into that when I do the actual review and um, here's the look of my hair And, of course, I'll attach pictures at the end of this segment, okay? Take care, guys. Bye. Hey guys, Spencer24 here. I'm um, coming to you on day three of my KBB um, hair butter twist out and also the KBB hair milk. Um, this is it. Last night all I did was divide it in about six or seven sections and I banded it loose, not twisted. And this is how it is. Um, it's keeping up quite well actually. It, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see that it seems to be pretty well moisturized. And um, I'm really liking it. It really is, um, this is day three, and I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, being that I haven't twisted it up uh, since two days ago. So, quickly before my battery dies, because I see that thing blinking. This is the hair. And yeah, so that's it guys. Um, see if I can come to you tomorrow. I have a late day, so we'll see how that goes. This tripod is driving me nuts. Anyway guys, um, yeah, so KBB, liking it. And um, yeah, really, really appreciating the, uh, the longevity of this twist out with using those products. So anyway guys, I'll see you. Bye. Hey guys, Spencer24 here updating you on day 4 of my um, twist out using the KBB products. Um, my hair is up in a puff of some sort. I started out the day with my hair out, but it was raining quite a bit from for most of the day and towards, although I didn't go out in it, you know, the moisture that brings kind of affects my hair, which it was still fine, like it was okay. So what I did 
was and the front is the first to go when my hair is out so I did some little semblance of some fat twisting business going on and then I just yes guys so it's up in the puff and um, what I did last night as usual misted it in the shower uh, placed some for a change just to switch it up a bit because I felt like the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie on there this is pretty good um, my hair and I still will attribute um, my outcome to the KBB products because that's been taking me through and for day four this is excellent my hair is still very very soft extremely soft guys and moisturized so yeah um, that's it I'm really happy so far and um, I'll come tomorrow with a wrap up of this on day five because it certainly has served me well using them because my hair looks great um, in my opinion so go. So yes, uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's been to 24 on day 5 of my twist out, which is now in a puff of some sort, uh, using the KBB products. Um, I pulled it up today off my face because I did not feel like doing anything else, and I pretty much smoothed it down this morning with my... Um, What's this called again, people? Okay, this gel. The Fantasia I see, which I love. Um, my hair is still soft. Although it's up in a bun, it's still pretty soft. And I, um, I mean, for day five, this is typically what I do. Because sometimes, you know, you just need to tuck your hair away. And, you know, for most of the summer, I've had my hair out. I just felt like putting it back, guys. So, yeah, that's it, guys. You see my purple lipstick, people? Lip gloss. Since the other day, I've had my mind on purple lipstick. And I didn't want to go out there and buy anything. I really like this. I just went to my little drugstore, Shoppers Drug Mart. And the girl was like, my gosh, this color looks so good on your lips. I'm not too sure. Actually, I am sure. I like it. There it is. I really like it. I picked this up today. It's the NYX Goddess of the Night. And, you know, instead of going to see MAC and buying lipstick for whatever, I know this is all about the KBB, but I had to let you guys know. Um, this one is called Purple Rain. It's a mega shine lip gloss, and it really looks good. I like it, and really, I think I'll be wearing this out for the fall. I mean, it just really warms my face up. Anyway, so this is the look, guys. And I'll come to you next with the review on the product, although I'm pretty sure you guys know how I feel about it. Okay guys, take care. Bye.